So the stream probably cut out for a little moment there. Yeah, it's back. Should be seeing the save the game thing. I assume you're there. Are you still there? Yeah, it's there's something in my setup. Somewhere the PS3 or between the PS3 and the TV or the TV, like it just can't, like it just occasionally cuts out. And this time it was bad enough that it paused the stream. Anyway, this is some... This is some really interesting story. Uh, I say that genuinely. I don't know if it counts as fan service when it is, it's a sequel to three games and it's tying those games together, you know, because I did wonder like, oh, Metal Gear Solid 3 kind of sits outside all that shit now, but now it's kind of tying up all the little loose threads and that's kind of nice. That's how I'm seeing this so far anyway. Um, it is very Princess Leia, you know, like, that. it's just like, ah, oh, Luke, you've got a sister, who could it be? Ah, oh, it's the one, it's the one girl that I've met. You know, it's like, ah, oh, Snake, you've got a mother, who could it be? Ah, oh, yeah, it's the one woman that we met in the other game that would kind of fit the time period. Um, but yeah, this game wasn't supposed to be made. But as I said, after Metal Gear Solid 2, that wasn't an ending. That wasn't an ending. That just had a million loose threads. So, something needed to give. No, I don't, I don't, I don't buy that, because Metal Gear Solid 2's endings wasn't an ending. It was a middle, and it just cut off. And then he made a whole game about something else entirely. And then he got here. Listen, and you don't, if you have a, if you, if you have, if, if anything, if you have a game that wasn't meant to be made, that's a license to just make up a bunch of characters and then do any old shit. It would be easier to just make something completely different and not related to anything at all. Maybe that's what Metal Gear Solid 3 was about. Yeah, I don't know how the story of Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 ties into all this. I know that Went to Outer Haven and Zanzibar and shit. And that's what that Metal Gear Zero was, probably. That was in probably probably some of them Metal Gear games, but... Whatever. I like how Eva's thing used to be getting her tits out, but now everyone gets their tits out. But then that's still kind of a thing, even though she must be... If she was like 20 in 1964, at least 60, 70 in this game, depending when it's set, looking good. But yeah, this is Metal Gear, so women are either sexy, so you want to have sex with them, or they're matriarchal, or both. Yeah. Amassed armies, used information for extortion, all in order to gain more wealth. He was obsessed with controlling awareness on the inside from the outside. I used to seem like such a nice guy. But I cannot imagine that's what the boss would have wanted. They both misinterpreted her will. And their absolute reverence for her drove them apart. So began the war between Zero and Big Boss. Opposing interpretations, each striving to realize the boss's will. Everything you see today stems from their cold war. <laughs> uh. 
differences in race, in religion, in ideology. This war they've caused is no different from any other human error <coughs> in history. What on earth? <laughs> Got posters of herself. Started with a tiny fork in the path. I'm very subtle again. And grew into a great rift. There was nothing left of the Oh my, the it's still going. All that remained was <sighs> a passion to destroy one another. Big Boss returned to the U.S. with a plan in mind, and once again assumed command of Foxhound. In Outer Heaven, and then Zanzibar Land, Big Boss plotted coup d'etat. Zanzibar! Zero. But you, Solid Snake, his own clone, foiled his efforts both times. Big Boss and Grey Fox... Oh my god, actual screenshots of Metal Gear, that's great. Zero recovered their bodies. Frank Yeager's entire body was reconstructed through surgery, and he was reborn as the cyborg ninja. Yeah. No, that much. Big boss, now, now a vegetable. Became a prisoner of Zero. Now a tree frog. For Zero, more than anyone else, your father was an irreplaceable icon. No, the truth is, for Zero. He was an irreplaceable friend. After Big Boss's betrayal, Zero could no longer believe in something so uncertain as life. He lost his belief in everything. Nations, organizations, individuals. Zero was no longer willing to place his organization in the hands of the next generation. Instead, he set up a network of AIs, a decision-making system formed from all the information he had accumulated. He built four AIs, oh. TJ, AL, and TR, as sort of a digital Mount Rushmore, and one huh. more artificial intelligence to unite them, John Doe. GW. George Washington. The we destroyed five years ago. The same. Ever since GW was cut off, JD and the other three AIs have controlled all information on every aspect of global society. Jack Daniels. Politics, law, morals, and culture. The war economy is no exception. In the shadow of the system and its complete control over the world, Big Boss isn't allowed to live or die. He's trapped for eternity in a brain-dead prison. To bind himself to his friend, to ensure his rule over the world, Zero transformed Big Boss into an icon, neither living nor dead. Sounds almost like a religion. Naturally, Ocelot and I planned to free him from Zero's prison. We enlisted Naomi Hunter, an authority in the field of nanomachine research, into our organization. And we used Frank Yeager to kill Dr. Clark. Oof. Ocelot tortured the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, also known as Signet, to death, and made it look like an accident. The Shadow Moses incident. With paramedic and Sigint dead, Zero was the only one left. But we too paid a price. I lost Ocelot. Ocelot wasn't fighting for the Pentagon or the Russians, and certainly not for Zero. He was fighting for Big Boss. He idolized him. Aww. When Ocelot grafted Liquid's right arm to his own, his body was taken over by Liquid's thoughts and spirit. Said with a straight Maybe face. Ocelot in physical form, but his mind is Liquid's. I was the last one. And then someone appeared to help me. Right. It was when I met him. That I finally discovered the location of Big Boss. It was in the data he obtained from GW. Together, he and I retrieved Big Boss. But Big Boss was still asleep, as Zero had left him. 
Why did Zero keep him alive? People need heroes. Zero wanted to create a messiah. A legend. That would never die. Liquid is after Big Boss's body. Is it here? I'll take you to meet him. <laughs> this is his picks. His holy ark. He's picks, mate. Wait. We just got him in the back of a fucking van. What the fuck? His body is alive, but his consciousness is locked away by nano machines. God, that's grim. So what a way to go. He's not really brain dead. What the fuck? We can't allow Liquid to inherit the same sins that corrupted Zero. Manipulating people's minds for the sake of his own ego. Uh, it's probably my stream's fucked up. Can I pause? Let me restart the stream. <laughs> 